when when you think about the wild and out, the time when you guys started in that, what how did you end up on there anyway? Man, I just did it the old fashioned way. I was sitting at the crib one day and my girl at the time was like, they supposed to be having some kind of audition, but I hadn't heard shit about it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. When, when you think about the wild and out, the time when you guys started in that, what, how did you end up on there anyway? Man, I just did it the old fashioned way. I was sitting at the crib one day and my girl at the time was like, they supposed to be having some kind of audition, but I hadn't heard shit about it. And I was like, yeah, well, you know how that shit be. I ain't going up there just to be fucking That's real. What we She's like, you probably should just go and see. And I was like, I called the club and they was like, we supposed to do something, but hell, ain't nobody up here. So I got there and then they were actually doing like some auditions and the little dude was such an asshole. He was like, mm, it was a close audition. They not add nobody. If you're not already on the list, you're not getting on the list. And I just kept, like, every time he came around, he was like, you're not on the list. And I was like, you're not on the list. I'm like, you're still going to go. You're still going to go. So I was just like, I was like, fuck it. I'm, I'm going to get on this shit. Because I know this is my club. This ain't my city. I'm, I'm going to get in that bitch. Yeah. So I went in there. Like, by the, like somebody didn't show up and he was just like, fine, you can't fucking go. Just stop doing that. <laughs> but when, like, anybody know about auditions, it's a time where it's like, like, it's a time slot where they got, like, the real people who can put you on the show and then, like, they'll go on a break mm -hmm. and then they'll just put some motherfuckers in there who'll just be, like, holding the spot. So you don't want that dead spot. Mm -hmm. So the people left. But I actually did my audition for Nick. So, I, like, everybody, a lot of them people had to just audition for just the producer. Yeah, right. my My audition slot fell, like, at the, that little perfect. hour that he was going to be there. Yeah. So I auditioned for him. And you guys just hit he, it like, off? While he was there in town, like, I guess he said a lot of people had been telling him about my stand-up comedy. Yeah. So... He was, everybody was like, you gotta, don't leave till you see him. So I did the shit and he was like, oh, that shit was dope. So I didn't think shit of it. Got the call back. How long did it take to get the call back? That shit, it was a couple months. I thought Dang. I wanted to go that day. Yeah. I was ready yeah. that day. It was, it was a little, maybe about a month or two maybe. Some, yeah, somewhere. In, I'd have been like, they forgot about me. No, nah, I, was, I was like, you know, it was just some shot in the dark type shit. So they called me on my, I was on my way to, to do some shows that weekend and they called me and told me I got a call back. Went to that callback shit, did it like the actual game shit from the show, and then the rest is history, like you like to say. The rest so is yeah, history, I went through man. I went through the whole audition process where I had to sign up, audition, callback, audition, mm -hmm. then get the call, and then be on the show. But then like even being on the show was still like like that first season. It felt like any fuck up was like ah shit. Yeah, yeah. This, I'm gonna yeah. go. You saw the video of you getting knocked out, but it was this face that you made on the way down. <laughs> it was just felt like yeah. some survival type <laughs> shit because I was just seeing how many motherfuckers was That's like they sending niggas home. Like, was American was Idol, little, man. You know? <laughs> it wasn't no, it wasn't no song, curve, man. nigga. He was like, wow. That first season, they like go out there and fuck up. <laughs> go out, go if you watch. Season five, bro, ain't no whole lot of buses on that bitch. Cause everybody was coming out with they shit. Damn. They was not trying to go home, nigga. That nigga was coming with it. But that's the funniest part about that shit, though. Cause you'll see all these people who audition and all they fans would be like, oh, you need to be on Wildin' Out. You be great on that. You need to be on Wildin' Out. Man, them motherfuckers get on there and them, and they turn around and look at them cameras and feel that heat from them lights. Some motherfuckers can't do nothing. Yeah, I've yeah. seen people completely they free, free freeze up. up. Hell yeah. Wow. I'm talking about like stuttering, sputtering. I done seen that in here. Yeah. Nigga get, they, they say they want to do it until you get them in. <laughs> These be some people that ain't never really done it. It's a big deal when you start thinking, damn, I'm going to answer some questions. It'd be crazy, bro. Man, people get No, but people, they say that we made them feel comfortable because they realize it's not just uh, I'm having a pad with some questions. It's just a conversation. Nah, so no. a lot of times, especially when you have on the headphones, you sort of forget about everything else that's going around. Right. We draw you into the conversation. So they forget about the cameras. They forget about everything. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.